Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Last episode, I decided that it was time to give our our military a test, to test our offensive strength. And unfortunately, while we did initially uh, beat Mogadishu's army, we didn't stack wipe them, and Ethiopia brought their impressive might to bear. So I've been hedging my bets and trying to figure out how we're going to deal... Uh, deal with this. What I did was increase the size of my my military. We also waited for a military tech level, uh, military level 15, which actually gave us uh, a new type of soldier to work with, and it also gave us in increased military tactics. So I'm hoping that those things in combination with each other will allow us to beat Ethiopia's army in the field. Let's take a pause it real quick. So we have more men. Uh, we, we're each working with 100% discipline. I have a morale of 4.2, they have a morale of 3.4, and I have military tactics of 2, they have military tactics of 1.7, so we should be able to beat them before the reinforcements arrive, if we're lucky. But I mean, their morale is real low right now, so hopefully we'll be able to, to do it. I don't see them yet, I don't see them on the horizon, it looks like we're good, looks like we're good. Yes, we beat them. We lost 3,600 men, which was more than I was hoping for, but... Oh, you know what? They took one of my castles. That's why I can't uh, can't go up there yet. But that's okay. That's okay. We beat them in the field. We beat them pretty badly, so I, I, I'm pretty happy about the way this is going to go. So we're going to work our way back up the coastline. We're going to take our, our cities back. And we're going to see what we can do here. We can't move up there until we take this one, though. Didn't anticipate that. I forgot that that one was honestly there. But hopefully we'll take it in a month or two. And we'll be... I really want to beat this army before that one comes back. But that means this one's got to fall ASAP. If we're lucky. If we're super lucky. No, it doesn't look like we're going to get lucky. They're going around me. They didn't really think about that. Alright, so let's take advantage of this. Let's see if we can't beat them quick, like, in the mountains. Well, I mean, we took a negative one there, but it looks like we'll be okay. But these guys, these are uh, moving to Tonga, so they're not coming to help. And we managed to kill a lot of them. All right. And we're going to need to get make sure our mor morale recovers before we engage them in combat again. So we can beat them in the field now, head-to-head, -head, which is great. Which is just great for me. And what I really need, I really need to take Tonga back so I have a uh, free reign up, up and down the coastline here. Hope, hopefully, we can leverage this into victory. Hopefully. I just, again, I can't do anything until this, this is cleared. That's what's, that's what's holding me back right now. We're causing more casualties than we're taking, which is good. They're going to try to go around me again, but this time I think what I'm going to do is sit here and uh, sit on the city, and I gotta take it. I gotta take it. It's what's causing the problems right now. But if they, if they go down that way, that's fine with me, honestly, because that'll separate them geographically from the army in the north. And this will prevent them from uh, getting back together with each other easily. All right. We can't let them get together, though, is the thing. So if this doesn't fall this turn, I'm going to have to attack them. Damn it. Now they're in my allies' territory. Can I call them into this? They will not accept. War started more than 30 months ago. They're in debt, and it's a dis distant war. Okay. So let's see here. How is this going to work? They are going to head right over here. Can I... I don't want to detach. Well, let's see. They're going to arrive on April 1st. I'm going to arrive on March 29th.
Uh, trading in slaves. Global tariffs, plus 10%. They're moving to this one, right? This is interesting. 100 military power, army tradition, navy tradition, and or stability, prestige, and admin. Right now, the tradition is more important to me than anything else, because that's going to get me more morale. All right, we crushed the army this time. Ah, well, I took more losses than I wanted. But we, we definitely slapped them around a good amount. I'm super bummed. Ooh, who's fighting here? They're fight. They're stop fighting rebels. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. No, that works out well for me. I'm about to say, where did they get all those men from? No, half of that is my allies' army. There we go. Beat them in the field again. They're causing. They, they cause almost equal casualties to me, though, which I'm a little, a little sad about. All right, we let's um let's take raise our war taxes. That'll help the economy a little. I feel like I'm starting to get the upper hand in this war. Again, we're going to try to take Tonga back. We're going to freaking attempt. They've had it for so long. We got it up to 42% before... Oh, you know what? No, nope, no, nope, we're not doing it like that. We're not doing it like that. We're not doing it like that. I was about to say, maybe I could get up there and stack wipe them now. Can't get over there. Unless we go around. Nope, not going to let me go around. It won't let me path over here. I think it's because maybe the fort? I don't know. But, again, we're stuck in the situation where this has to fall. And they got their armies together this time. But last time it worked out well for me. Maybe I could just let them go. I'm getting bad rolls on the siege here. They're gonna they're gonna head south. God damn it. Oh, I'm getting the worst rolls possible here. It's actually going backwards. And they're just sieging down more coastline. I still have manpower reserves, which is good. Well, I'm at the point where I'm just... I, I can't sit here again and do this. Peace officer from... Peace offer from Mogadishu. They'll, I'll get basically a white piece. I give them money. So they want out. They're at the point where they want out. I think that means I got them on the ropes. Not having taken Tonga is um, a huge pain in the ass. I gotta get a good freaking roll here. Come on. This is what's been preventing me from being able to stack wipe them. I'm not even gonna pay attention to what they're doing down there. I have to take this back. Okay, good. Those ones will fall back by themselves. And we'll go take this one. That is the war goal. And then we can take our stuff back. Because the the fact that they want out means that they can't maintain it too much longer. Yeah, they reduced it. The weeping song, lose forty ducats, lose war exhaustion, gain a thousand manpower. Take the manpower right now. Alright, now they're coming back. Alright, we're doing okay. Alright, they're gonna try to try to do this again. They got 24,000 men. I've got 26,000. I can beat them. Now take Tonga all you want. It's gonna fall right back into my hands. Crossing penalty should be eliminated by my superior maneuver skill. 
Yeah, look at my morale now. It's great. All right, so definitely, definitely starting to get the upper hand in this. And now we're at the position where we should be able to chase them down and see if we can't do a stack wipe. Well, I actually didn't think they'd fight me there, but they did. That's okay, though. We won. Killed large quantities of their men. So he can only go... I'm assuming he's only going to be able to go to here before he's out of room to retreat. And then that'll, that'll be a stack wipe. Uh, no. They're retreating back out. Well, that's interesting. I thought that'd be a stack wipe. Now that we have the upper hand, I have to keep this going. I have to keep it going. Stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe. Stack wipe the whole damn thing. Oh, well, they lost a decent amount of troops, but still no stack wipe. I thought that you'd stack wipe when you engaged in combat with no, basically no morale. There, there it is. Got him that time. All right, now we can, let's see, split in half, send half up here. So their army was just complete, their, all their military was just destroyed. So now they're at our mercy and we can get what we want out of this war. We'll take all of my land back. And then we'll go up and we'll go siege down their capital. And that'll be that. No, we're, gonna, we're not gonna renew that. All right, so they, they've raised up probably some mercenaries. That's okay, though. Look outward. Gain free Diplo points. That means we can easily... Boom. So let's, let's do this. Merge together. Let's actually wait for this to finish because it's almost done. And we'll engage them in battle. Or maybe we won't. For some reason. Alright, they're going to Tonga, so they're going to be stuck fighting me there. And this is going to be a slaughter. I'm assuming that I'm fighting mercenaries, basically. They lost a lot of troops there. Now we're going to go up and we're going to stack wipe these guys. And we are going to make them pay this time. We're going to take everything. All right, let's um, attach, move up. There we go. You do that one, you do that one. Then you'll move up and you'll get this one. That'll make things go faster. Boom. We're going to decline because we want land out of this. We want land in the next trade node up. We are going to go straight to Mogadishu here. Secrets in our alliance. Uh, not a big deal here. Stack wiped again. So the uh, war exhaustion is super high because this has been going on for so long. But it's basically over in our favor. So we're going to take their capital. Well, let's detach the siege. Attach the siege. We're gonna need to. Oh, bringing in mercs. That's what I'm assuming is going on there. But that's why we have the the main body of the army heading around to take out all these people as they appear. We gotta go get the uh, the war goal too. This is basically where we were before. We had. 22%, I think we had 22% war goal before. Man, I'm so glad we managed to turn that around. Alright, they're, this is what, the, I know exactly what they're doing. They're just trying to get around me to annoy me, basically. Try to siege down stuff in my backyard. 
I can't believe they keep they're managing to bring in more men. Seriously, how do they not run out? Either of money or of manpower. I mean, all these guys are getting stack wiped. So we're just gonna need to start occupying things. It's Ethiopia too. It's not just uh, Mogadishu, it's Ethiopia as well. Thank God I have a really, really high um, ba like, base unrest is not high, it's really low is what it is. Got a lot of PowerPoint sitting, I'm sitting on a lot of PowerPoints right now, too. I'll grab this one. <laughs> Actually, I had enough to grab the next one as well, it seems. But let's, uh, pause. Because we need our next, next thing madongle here. And what I was talking about doing was trade. And really start trying to capitalize on, on trade. So let's do that. And see if we can't get those merchants. Although I would really like the next... Because this would reduce my corruption. Uh, let's split in half. Have you guys sit there. Have you guys sit there. Let's uh, carpet siege a little. Sixty-two percent. All right, now we can grab the next one. That's going to do what? Well, I want to get maybe get to the, at least get this next one. Glo uh, global trade power. There we go. All right, what are they going to try to do here? We got them blocked in. All right, now what are they saying? They will cede all this land to me. Uh, I am going to decline it, obviously. Right, they're going to try to siege back their capital. I'm going to get a little bit more war gold because I want to, I want to get more concessions out of this, basically. I can't believe they're still managing to bring troops in. Where are they coming from? Man, it's got to be coming from somewhere. Go here. Can't believe we didn't run out of manpower. Foreign military expert. Lose ducats, gain a general with 100 tradition. Yes. I think we have too many right now, but we could easily... Uh, we could fire... You, I mean, these guys aren't really any good. Wouldn't th that would have made the biggest difference in the world if I had gotten that right off the bat. If I had had that at the beginning and not the end of the war. All right, keep on going here while that guy sieges. Can we separate piece out Ethiopia? I mean, I don't have any war goal war score against them. I don't think. So now our people are... We separate peace out Ethiopia. Just say, well, I can't, I can't force them to do anything. So Eth Ethiopia... Well, let's take a little bit more. Now, I'll, I'll end it soon, I promise. I want to take this fortress... And then, and then talk about... Alright, there we go. So now let's talk about what we got going here. So let's, 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 let's discuss things. I wanted to get up to Mogadishu at least. Let's see. Release nations. Annul trees. Uh, cannot demand tribute. That requires more than 100%. Okay, so... They won't become a protector or anything like that. War reparations. Null treaties with Ethiopia. And then I can face, force them to pay me.
Oh, they don't have a lot of money, though, so maybe I should take a little bit more. Basically, I want to take as much of the coastline as it'll let me. Okay, that, we're going to take that. Okay. A lot of stuff's going on. Inspiring victory. Gobbled up all this coastline. Alright, so first things first. We are going to let our band power recover. We are going to core all of this land. Add the banked admin points. Uh, we have a free advisor slot. I think I'm going to leave that empty just for now. So move you guys back down here so you can work together. You can upgrade your government rank. Wow. Didn't expect to be able to do that. All right. Uh, let's see. Click the government. You will gain 10 prestige. Well, it actually gained me a lot more prestige than 10. Uh, now what did that give me? Anything? Nothing? Clout? I'm thinking clout. War exhaustion is high. It is high. Uh, my revolt risk is high, but overextension and war exhaustion are, are, are what's causing that. So we'll be able to take care of that. Our powerful, eventually, military triumphed. We did not run out of manpower. We gobbled up all of this coastline here. Uh, well, Mogadishu was a, uh, an important one, and we got a little bit of provinces in the Gulf of Aden trade node, which is going to be good for us. Uh, that's a... We grabbed an entire state here, didn't we? Okay, um, so we'll wait for those to core and then deal with that. And in terms of trade goods, we grabbed wool, naval goods or whatever it is, wool, wool, uh, uh, ivory, not much else, but this all this coastline. That's going to be great for us. That's going to put us right in the middle here with 19% of the trade power. We don't have a merchant up there. Oh, we got, an we got another diplomat to work with, didn't we? For increasing our rank. Good. Good. That was a good war. It was ugly at first, but it, it turned out good in the end. All right, sorry about the little interruption there. Decided to take a little breakfast break because I've been recording for hours and was starting to get hungry. All right, so let's reduce our army maintenance slider by a healthy amount because we really increased the size of our military for that operation. Uh, right now we have how many mercenaries in there? Four mercenary regiments. Uh, that's not a ton, so I'm thinking of keeping them in there. All right, so, uh, and what I can do right now, let's let's start transferring trade. Let's transfer trade power. We're going to use the guy who's in Zanzibar. Because if you, you auto-collect in, in your home node. So you don't need to put someone, you don't need to set someone up to collect there. And if you have them, someone collecting in there, you'll you get like a 10% bonus or something like that. It's not a ton. All right, so we can tech up military again. But that's a head. That's going to give us an ahead penalty. So I'm thinking what might be a better idea is to use some of that military power points for some construction, maybe. Such as, let's see, do we have any places with really good, give us a really good bonus? Not really. These three right here are the best. We don't have a lot of of money either, so that would leave us with doing something like this. Spend a little bit of those points. Don't want to cap it out, because it's 999 now. We can grab military administration. We did, uh, we're, we're, you know, we need a lot of, we're going to need to switch this now. Uh, we need to switch this here. All right, good. And I also think I'm going to do, we can have, we have access to the four sparks order right now. Uh, we're going to need, let's see, we have an income of six. So one of these guys 
would really wreck our economy. So we're probably going to want to stick with one of these ones. Plus one there. I think that's that'll be good for now. That's pretty good. And we're working on our coring. We have Mogadishian Separatists. Ah, that's a lot. But why don't we wait to see what happens when the coring finishes. That should probably take care of a good deal of that. What about religious? It's all Sunni. And we can't send, we can't uh, convert anybody. Alright, we're going to repay that loan. Um, can't convert anybody until the coring's done. But that's okay. That was, that, that went from really ugly to really good with that one military tech. That made the huge difference. And I think any tech that gives you military tactics above your foe is one that's going to be uh, a game changer for you. So this is a state. And I think I'm out of states. I think everything else has to be a territory. No, another ally would be nice. Prove relations, send that out. Good. Got a decent military now, 26,000 men. Oh, and these guys need an order. What you're going to do is you are going to protect trade in the Gulf of Aden. Because that's going to help out a ton. Once they get up there, I think. Gift to the state, put into the treasury, or spend it generously. We're almost maxed out on prestige, so we'll just take the ducats. So we're transferring two gold down, down this way. Which is really good for us. Because that's all getting collected here. And still ahead there. So we don't I don't necessarily want to burn the points and getting ahead on that. Which again leaves us with military development. Is that... Let's see here. There, nice. Increasing our development level as we go too. There we are. Colonial Adventures. So, discovery of the New World. Adventure will look like a great period of prosperity. Despite the immense wealth returning to us, uh, allows Rogsdale I to finance one of the most outstanding army, armies in the world, successfully creating a strong naval force, and his attempt to conquer the neighboring states so far failed miserably. Man, we did pretty good. Invest in the naval force. Heavy ship cost up. Light ship cost up. Diplo tech cost down. Diplo tech. Or abandon the idea of naval supremacy. Chokwe announced me as a rival. That's interesting. Because now we could tech up. Uh, we could tech up cheaper with the Diplo because of that 10%. Hmm. 414. Eh, it's it's not a lot. It's, sa it's saving like 40 Diplo points. Alright, let's go look over the new world. Oh, you know what I forgot to look at? This thing right here. This is... Uh, part of the trade company. So can I give anything to a trade company? No, I can't. So 
So I could take out something over here easily. Uh, why don't we try this? I'm gonna declare a colonial war on enemies that are overseas. If you do, you can call your protectrix to help you in the war, but not your allies. Okay, that's not gonna make any difference. All right, so let's confirm that. Let's say split you straight in half. And let's say move you over here. Well, should we build some ships first that can that can do this right? Oh, we failed that because we declared war. Forgot. Damn it. I reduce overextension. We'll take that one. That's easy. Um how long does it take to build a, sh a transport ship? Well, actually, let's let's do it like this. Hang on. We got six transports. Let's do it like this. Let's say uh, we're go we'll create a new unit and we'll go one, two, three, one, two, one. Select this unit. Tell them to transport to here. And uh, we'll send them over, and we could s maybe we could start a, a colony over there. You know, and we're, we're running way long. I just re realized that. Everybody, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.